The last time we saw Philip, we learned about energy and how it was converted when he dropped the paint bucket. Philip had to use energy to climb back down the ladder and get new paint, so he is not pushing the wheelbarrow as fast as he did earlier. Even though he is doing the same amount of work as before and thus using the same amount of energy, the rate he is working at is slower. This means he has less power than before. Power is the rate at which work is done. We calculate it by dividing the work done in joules by the time taken in seconds to complete the work. The unit of power is joules per second. It is also known as the watt. W. If Philip took 20 seconds to move the wheelbarrow and did a thousand joules of work, his power is 50 watts. Let's say Philip takes one minute to carry the 2K bucket up the 5 meter ladder. What is his power? First, we calculate the work done. Gravity exerts 10 newton per kilogram on the bucket, so the weight of the bucket is 20 newton. The work done is 100 joules. We divide that by the time taken, which is one minute, in order to find Philip's power. But remember, to measure power, you must use seconds. So we convert the time in minutes into seconds. Therefore, Philip's power is 100 divided by 60. So his power is 1.67 watts. And that's how you measure power. You may have seen that electrical objects also have watts written on them. This is called the power rating, and it shows the rate at which the machine does work. Obviously, this drill has more power than Philip did when he carried the paint up the ladder, and that's why we use machines, because they can exert more power than what our bodies can. Some machines are so powerful that they are measured in horsepower. One horsepower is 750 watts. The terms watt and horsepower were developed by Scottish engineer James Watt in the 1700s. He used the term to compare the power of horses with that of steam engines. Looks like Philip needs to find a new house. At least he understands work, energy and power though. <laughs>